Welcome back everyone. So today, like so many of you, I just finished pressure washing this house behind me. And if you're thinking, man, I really want to get something to kind of clean up the house a little bit, one of the biggest things and best things you can do is to buy yourself a nice pressure washer. So today we're going to be looking at the Simpson 3300 PSI prosumer model pressure washer. It's a gas pressure washer and we're going to talk to you all about its specs, some of its likes and some of its dislikes. Let's get started. Welcome to Ramstan Reviews. All right guys, so now probably the part that you came here for, right? The likes and the dislikes. To start with the likes, you know, this is a really good like prosumer model. It sits right at that $400 mark US and that's kind of like that bridging gap for a lot of people. I think they're not really wanting to spend much more than that uh, if you're just a typical homeowner like myself. So the price point is good relative to, you know, the product you get out of it. Next, it's really cool that it has a siphon pump for the soap. So you can just get, you know, your standard pressure washing soap from the home improvement store, set it on the back, stick the siphon in, and you're off to the races. Make sure to change to the soap tip though in order to make that work. And just all around, it's a good pressure washer. I mean, it, it does 3,300 PSI at, you know, more than two, and, and I think it's like 2.3 or 2.5 gallons per minute. It's, and it gets the job done really well. Now to the dislikes. So number one, the quality control with the assembly between the pump and the engine. Okay, so after running it for uh, about maybe 30 minutes or so, you can see we kind of went ahead and did this whole square here. It looks good, no complaints there. But I do have one issue and it's over here. <clears throat> so, as I was walking it away while it was running, I noticed this bolt's coming loose. It's really hot. And you can actually see some of the grease from the pump leaking out here. And if you look down here, there's actually a bolt missing already. So now I gotta go try and find this bolt. Luckily, I haven't had it in too many places yet. But like, come on, that's not cool. I guess a uh, link for this magnetic screw finder thing in the description below. Yeah, that wasn't the plan. There it is. I'm not sure if this was done in a different factory than where everything was made. I'm sure it was, you know, the Honda built their engine and then pump manufacturer built their pump and they were put together maybe in Simpsons factory in terms of doing the assembly. Maybe those bolts just didn't get torqued down. But if I hadn't caught that bolt issue and I'd kept running with it, all those bolts would have backed out and that pump would have fallen off and that grease would have gone everywhere and it would have been definitely not ideal. So that's probably my number one dislike. The good news is you can solve that very easily by just checking the torque on all the bolts before you start actively using this thing. So it can be overcome and that's the good, that's the good point. Now for $400, should you have to overcome it? I would say no, but it doesn't put this out of the running for still being a really good quality pressure washer overall. Next, it's really short. So when you're dragging it behind you, I'm, I'm six feet tall, you know, a relatively average height male, but when you're dragging it behind you, you're kind of bending over to keep it on the wheels without it standing straight up. So I, I don't know if maybe they can just extend the handle upward or maybe I can do it. I just didn't, not sure, but it's, it's a little short. And then finally, it's, really loud. So obviously this is kind of a no brainer. It's a gas powered pressure washer. It's going to be loud. But if you're comparing to, you know, using gas versus using electric and that's why you're watching this and maybe you're in you know, a community where you really can't make a whole lot of noise, I would highly encourage you look at some electric models out there because having this motor run for, you know, if you're out pressure washing all day long, your neighbors might not be super happy but then again it's no louder than a standard lawnmower it's just you normally don't mow your lawn for eight hours so i guess it kind of depends on your use case obviously if you're looking at this one you're at least considering gas powered you probably have an understanding that these are going to be kind of loud so maybe that doesn't bug you 
Hey everyone, welcome back. So it is day two. Um, went ahead and torqued up those bolts, like I said, and then I spent about maybe an hour or so washing that trailer right over there. Uh, checked the bolts later, they were still fine. No complaints there. So like I was saying, maybe it was something to do with the factory that assembled the pump to the actual Honda engine. Not sure, but for now, uh, it's acting pretty good. So without further ado, I'm just gonna show you a bunch of footage of pressure washing stuff. Cause that stuff's cool. Have fun.